even though these clubs are much more forgiving than the old ones, to hit a driver off the ground, off the deck, is really, really technical. And you want to be able to understand the technique of hitting the driver off the ground. But a lot of people these days are using very, very strong three woods. So I can see them using the strong three wood rather than the driver. But if we're going into a force nine gale, which some of us play into, or a really strong wind, then a, a driver off the deck is pretty, pretty handy on a lot of the old par fives. The important points of it in a driver off the deck, well, first of all, you've got to get a driver that's you're able to get off the deck, and most of them these days haven't got enough loft on, so you really are struggling with uh, one particular point that you've not got enough loft. And that's why <clears throat> I think the three woods are so powerful now, and that's why so many people are obviously using three woods off the tee. The, a lot of three woods have only got 13 degrees of loft on. This driver's got 12 degrees of loft on, so it should be fairly easy to hit off the deck. But if you're trying to hit a, an eight degree driver off the deck, you better be able to actually control your low point in the swing. Because when you're hitting a driver, you've got to be able to control the low point, i.e. that the low point should be presenting as much loft as it can at impact. So your low point almost needs to be at the back of the ball. A lot of players, when they're trying to hit driver off the deck, they try and get a little bit steeper, and then the low point's ahead, and then they just trap the ball. And that's why a lot of players, when they're hitting driver off the deck, they hit a cut shot with it and not really get the ball coming out fairly straight and over. So low point is very, very important. And without the low point being controlled, you need to control the center of your body. Your center, you need to be turning around your center to be able to turn back around your center and obviously hit where your low point is all the time. And that's really, a shallow angle of attack is really, really important. So the way you actually deliver the club early and then collect it with your body turn is really important. To hit driver off the deck without hitting a big, horrible cut shot with the driver, which most people do. The importance really is to turn around your center so your right side is delivering the blow fairly early. So we've got the right side delivering the blow early to hit ball off the deck this way. So your right arm extending and turning is getting the club shallow at the bottom and then I'm able to control my low point a lot easier with that. If I get a little bit steep then I'm not going to be able to control my low point at all and I'm either going to trap the ball or really make a very poor left to right squeeze out the heel, out the heel of the club with most players. You can imagine if I got a little bit tight with the right arm in that position, I would really struggle to get the club head on the ball. So right arm only, I'd already be in position way, way back. So the right arm is turning the club down to collect the ball correctly. So it's in position back here as you're turning. You've got to be in position early to hit the ball off the ground with the driver. So it really is collecting the ball shallow. So a lot of people would talk, say that was casting. It isn't. It's turning the club down into position so then I can collect the ball with a shallow, shallow impact. And that's how you're going to get a driver off the deck. Really getting the club shallowing to, so that the low point is really almost at the ball, slightly, slightly in front, but at the ball really. So from here, we're just turning the club down and we're trying to take the ball off, off the turf without, without touching it. 